Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Clover, your friendly neighborhood vampire bunny. So I promised you guys in my last video that I'd keep you updated on the whole Artagon closing situation, and it is actually technically closing tomorrow, so I went today and I got you some more footage. Honestly, I was actually a little bit surprised by what I saw. Oh, God, the monsters are just outright closed now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they all just gave up. Oh, they had to be out? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, the tattoo place was completely gutted. The machines are gone over here too, everything. There's a couple of shops still open over there. Yeah. Artagon was open, people were walking around, but I want to say about 90% of the shops were completely closed already. The beef jerky place, one of the honey places, and just a couple of the other shops are really the only ones that were still open. Everybody else had just completely fled. I'm not gonna lie, we totally took advantage of this sale. The beef jerky place was awesome. Artagon was also a really cool place because it was one of the only places that you could actually bring your dogs. It was really a great way to get them out of the house and walking and you could have them with you while you were shopping. But it wasn't just dogs, you could really bring almost any pet. I saw lizards, I saw cats on leashes, which is pretty crazy, but oh god, this pug was adorable. I wouldn't be surprised if some people came just to play with other people's dogs. I mean, can you really blame them? This next place though actually has a bit of a shocking story. It was called the Hoppy Cellar and it was actually a relatively new establishment. They just started in 2016. But the worst part was their grand opening celebration was actually supposed to have been Friday. And I'm not talking next Friday, I'm talking this Friday, as in the 27th. So when Artagon made that announcement two weeks ago saying, Hey guys, guess what? We're closing on the 26th. Get all your crap and leave. They were closing the day before these guys were supposed to open. That's right, this establishment is brand new and didn't even get to have its opening ceremony. They had just finished moving their stuff in, they got the place all decorated, and suddenly, whoop, you gotta close your doors. So all they could do is have an unofficial opening and try to get rid of as much stock as they could before they had to move it all. Luckily, they should have another place across the street, hopefully to just kind of tie them over until they get an actual place to go to. If you guys are interested, they do have a Facebook page, so just look up the Hoppy Cellar on Facebook. By the way, that pineapple wine was absolutely delicious. I couldn't help myself, it's pineapple, come on guys. Now right here's where they'd write down all the events that they would have every month. Unfortunately, most people didn't see it because it was kind of hidden. And over here, they used to have some Russian crafts, and they also had the Fusion Art Group. There were so many different artists in here, as well as people who were selling other products. Like, there actually used to be a hammock shop in here, too. There was a handmade furniture store. There was a vintage furniture store. There was just so many different things that you could find in this place. I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really sad that the magic shop was closed today, because I really wanted to show you guys what was left in there. Yes, Magic was actually so hopeful that their business was going to do well that originally they had two different shops in this location, but then they had to downsize to one shop and then Artagon closed. There were also different pieces of art just kind of scattered around inside of the mall, like this. Most of them were actually from the vendors. I want to say the Himalayan Salt Lamp place was actually here from the beginning and they always did relatively well. The place right beside it, right here, actually used to sell different kind of dips. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the last time we were here, you might have remembered a pizza place in this location, but apparently now they're literally just... gone. How sad. This place had actually only been around for maybe a month before they decided they wanted to close the mall up. The original place was called Sweet Mermaids and it was actually mostly a candle shop and then Glamour Kids took over when Sweet Mermaids left. It was designed to be a hair salon specifically for kids, which was pretty cool honestly, but the few times that I had been here, I didn't see anybody inside. This is the remnants of the You Roll Sushi place. What's funny is they didn't bother putting up those ropes until they saw me looking at it. Otherwise, it had been completely unprotected, basically, since they opened. So for about four hours. And then they saw me and then they were like, Oh, hey, maybe we should cover this because people might go in there. These nifty world clocks were a new addition as well. So Artagon basically spent a bunch of money on some cool new stuff and might as well have just thrown that money in the trash can. The sports shop was relatively new too. I want to say that it had also been there for maybe a month to a month and a half. They didn't really get much time either. I don't know what that thing was, but it was cool looking, so I felt the need for a close up. This was one of the two candle shops that was in there, uh, Bo's Signature Candles. He actually owned both of them and his candles were very, very popular. They were nice soy candles. I'm sure you've noticed at this point the effort that Artagon went through to make sure that each of the outside of the shops looked different from each other. All of them had their own personal touch to them and it took a lot of work. Now when they first opened, all of these shops were literally just cages. So it was a cage attached to a cage. After a while they decided, well, this doesn't really look very good, so we're gonna try and revamp it all and add on these exterior walls and the signs and it looked really good, but for a lot of them it just didn't help. Uh, these ones that I'm showing you now were all the way in the back. This is the back wall of the place and most people didn't go this far back unless they were playing with the chalkboard, which was pretty cool. I have drawn many a bill cipher on that wall. Sadly, most people just came for that Cinemark movie theater or to go to Bass Pro Shop and didn't actually realize a lot of this was in here. Multiple times I would have people walk into the shop that I actually used to work at in here and they would say, oh, I didn't know any of this existed. I just came here to go to the movies. They also had these really cool giant checker and chess boards and uh, all these nifty lights over here in this area. The only problem was nobody really liked to be over here because when the sun shines just right, it blinds you. This was one of two really cool areas that were actually serving as art galleries for high school students. So this one was obviously fairy tale themed. The pure amount of Kingdom Hearts and anime characters that were in there admittedly killed me a little bit on the inside, but in a good way, it, it made me laugh because it made me remember what it was like when I was in high school. The other gallery was a steampunk theme actually, and that one was really cool too, but we just didn't get the chance to go see that one today. And honestly, this one was a little bit cooler, so I wanted to make sure I got this one on film for you, especially with the crazy paper trees that were on the inside. Sadly, this was one of the many things that was just locked up tight and we couldn't actually get inside. And then we found the Harry Potter section. Um, it was really hard not to have the camera shake at this point because I wasn't expecting it and I was totally laughing, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta say, all these look really, really good. I was actually quite impressed with them. Of course, whenever I see anything involving Draco Malfoy, I have to laugh, uh, especially because his tie is a snake, but because whenever I see Draco Malfoy, I just want to roll across the floor and go, Did someone say Draco Malfoy? Just like they do in the Harry Potter musical. Also, I'm totally going to be at Universal Studios tomorrow, so I'm definitely going to get you guys some footage of the Harry Potter world areas because they're all really cool, really well put together. They also had some really cool art that was uh, just beside all of this, and a lot of this was also fantasy themed, which was pretty cool, but then there was something else that was a little bit strange and creepy, and oh god, she's staring into my soul. On 
one hand, I feel really bad for the artists that got kicked out of here, but on the other hand, I'm honestly actually quite happy for the workers who are getting out of this. On one hand, it sucks because obviously they had to find themselves new jobs within the next two weeks, but uh, on the other hand, working at this place for 10 hours a day with no breaks, just speaking from experience, it really isn't the healthiest situation to be in. So, all in all, goodbye Artagon. I wish everybody luck. I hope that all the artists find better places to show off their work, and I hope all of the other workers find really good new jobs. Wait, no boy ever accomplished anything by being ordinary? Oh, I see. They had some trouble with the D. I get it. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button down below and please subscribe. I hope you know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. See y'all in the next video.